Hey crew, how are we doing? Okay, so the other week I actually uploaded some footage of Darren Clark hitting a pitch shot and I just want to talk about why I love it so much. And look, I've loved Darren Clark as a golfer, as a man, <laughs> and uh, as a technical golfer as well for a long time. And it's, it's because he's got obviously a very efficient golf swing and because he uses his body um, not in a unique way, in a way that a lot of great ball strikers have always done it, but certainly in a way that I love. So in that pitch shot that he's hitting, the thing you'll notice about it more than anything else is that he doesn't have a body that's going this way at all and he doesn't look like he's using his wrists at all. What he's got is obviously, you know, he sort of sets up into that hitting shape with a bit more pressure onto his front side, probably just into his left hip a little bit here. And then what he's actually doing is he, he gets his wrist angles like this, he holds it that way, and then the way he releases the club, and I say release the club because I think traditionally when people say release, they think hands, right? But when I talk release, I mean more with the body. Okay, the way he releases the club is with the right side going around the left like this. So he doesn't actually have to use his hands at all. So once he actually sets his wrist angles the correct way like this, he can just pass his arms to this side, which pulls his shoulders round a little bit, and then he passes it to the left side like this, and all he's doing is pushing it around with the right side of the body. So it goes around this front axis, which I always talk about. So obviously the front axis is this side of the body. The back axis is when people caught, get caught over here. So once again, as I said, it's a case, and you can often do this just with your right hand because it really, really isolates the right side of your body from your left. You just want to pass the club like this. That'll pull your shoulders around a little bit. And then on the way through, what will happen is that you can actually hold the left side, a very, very strong left side, and then consequently hold your wrists and you can just push it around with the right side of the body like this. So it becomes wristless. So that's when you can get really, really consistent with the club face uh, because it sits inside uh, the center of your body, stays uh, square to the center of your body. And then the way you release it is very much with, with the body. And believe it or not, those wrist angles are actually the one that I started with. They just look like they've changed because you're looking at it from a two-dimensional point of view looking this way. So when people go around like this with their right side, sometimes it can look like that this hand is underneath the right one, which makes it look like it's a little bit of a flip. But all it is, is the rotation of the right side around the left side like this. And consequently, it makes it look like you've actually turned your hands over, but you haven't used them at all. As I said, it's merely the releasing of the right side around the left. So when you're pitching, try that. Make sure you've got those setup angles right, as we always talk about, and then don't release it with your hands. Release it with the right side of the body, around the left on the way through, and your trajectory and your consistency of contact will just be, um, just be so much more improved.